we're just passing off uh, the side of Irene right now. We're just, it has ta taken more shape since we've seen it the last two nights. The, uh, the eye is not yet discernible to tell if it's... It is big. I'll zoom back. Prevalent weather system nearly 700 miles wide. We're following breaking news right now out of Washington, D.C., where a magnitude 5.3 earthquake has been felt in the D.C. area. The Pentagon has been evacuated. We were just talking to Senator Coons of Delaware, who, uh, like so many others right now, slightly shaken by the tremors that they felt. The senator uh, telling me live that the ground literally shook. Uh, workers at Japan's Fukushima plant say the ground under the facility is cracking and radioactive steam is escaping through the cracks. Hey, keep up, keep up, all of us have a piece of Chernobyl in our bodies. Realize that we could take Geiger counters, simulation counters, and see, and actually see that radiation from Chernobyl has been incorporated into our flesh and tissue. And that will be the same with Fukushima. That's right. In fact, the whole world will be exposed to the radiation from Fukushima. It means that the radiation went over the Pacific Ocean, sailed over the United States, and it is now circulating around the entire Earth. So we're already getting it. We are already getting radiation from Fukushima. It was a 5.9 that occurred in Virginia, and that is confirmed. It's no doubt you felt it yourself. You certainly did, Jeremy. Yes, you really wonder what's going to happen next this year. Uh, we, it's a, an eerie feeling standing on top of the Sky News building here in Washington with sirens howling around us. The streets are full of people and evacuated from buildings. It is a rather odd place to have a large earthquake. It's pretty obvious now that we are experiencing a large earthquake uptick. When you look at what occurred in Colorado with the 5.3 and the 4.7s and the 3s, and uh, then if you just look over the last 14 days, look at this. Um, it's an insane number of earthquakes. And when you really start to see the number of, of 5.0s, 6.0s, you had the 7.0 swarm that occurred over here on the western side of the Pacific. When I look all around this and I see this swarm of earthquakes, this lets me know that, that the earthquake uptick, it, uptick is continuing, and it's continuing unabated. We don't know what's causing it yet, so we're really kind of left wondering. Those are softball size. Oh, this is going to be so much work for In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. Well, switching gears big time now. We've all heard about the end of the world in 2012, but could it be much, much sooner? Well, there's a whole lot of talk going all around the solar system that certain things we've seen recently should be taken as signs of something big being right around the corner. From the devastating earthquake in Japan to massive flooding in the U.S., the likes of which we've never seen, tornadoes, volcanoes, all kinds of natural disasters. And now we're expecting a comet, Comet yelling in will be coming close to Earth, relatively speaking, in just a few short months, expected here on October 16th of this year.
9 o'clock and it's still all yellow. Like What's this. going on here? But you can see the horizon is just this brilliant shade of yellow. That's making everything yellow. This yellow tint to everything. And it is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. What do you think that is? Bizarre. Yeah, but it looks like aliens. It's not closing up. But I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Okay, ever. Is there anything in that direction? No. So the sun's over there. We're the only agency in the federal government that's responsible for the safety and well-being of people not only here on Earth, but uh, off this planet. Think about the, the natural disasters that could occur in your area. Think about attacks that could come like 9-11 from outside forces. And talk to your family about your work and what they need to do to prepare for the unforeseen. You know, know what it is that you're going to do. Know what it is that you're, you want your family to do if an emergency arises. But most of all, be prepared. Is either a 5.8, 5.9, or a 6.0 magnitude earthquake. Uh, there, according to the U.S. D.C. Okay, this is District of Columbia. A uh, monstrous Hurricane Irene tightened its aim on the eastern seaboard, threatening 65 million people along a shore-hugging path from North Carolina to New England. The strongest to strike the East Coast in seven years. You can still see monuments to Vladimir Lenin almost in every Russian town, but uh, things are beginning to change, and from Lenin, they're moving to Alien. Russia's first monument to cosmic visitors has just been unveiled in Perm region. Environmental sound detectives are looking into a very mysterious humming sound and vibrating effect in the border city of Windsor, Ontario. That's right across the Detroit River from Detroit. Ontario's Ministry of the Environment has received more than 300 complaints since March about this phenomenon that residents describe as a low level throbbing hum in the evening. Now, a lot of people around the United States have heard this too. As a result, the ministry has set up seismic and sound monitors, but there hasn't been any official word on just what's been recorded. Since the humming began in March, theories of the source of the The components of DNA have now been confirmed to exist in extraterrestrial meteorites. Researchers announced a different team of scientists also discovered a number of molecules linked with the vital ancient biological process adding weight to the idea that the earliest forms of life on Earth may have been made up in part from materials delivered to Earth the planet by from space. A crisis of leadership. We've been talking about this all week. But what if there was some sort of outer space crisis? An alien invasion sounds crazy, perhaps. But then who thought we'd ever see the stock market swing 5% a day all week long? So maybe it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. If aliens invaded, who would step up to lead us in that fight, and could we even win? Well, the Kepler satellite currently orbiting in outer space has identified about 50, 50 planets that seem very much Earth-like. In fact, every week we discover another Jupiter-sized planet in outer space. But a few of them may have intelligent life, perhaps even more advanced than what we have on Earth. Now, so how did this, uh, how does this actually work? When Discovery decided they were going to do a show on alien invasions, your phone rings because you're on the sort of speed dial for theoretical physicists who can help them do the war game for how this might play out? Well, believe it or not, we physicists have actually studied the question of what happens if we do encounter a hostile advanced civilization in space. Either the aliens don't bother with us because we're simply too primitive, or if they do invade, it'll be more like Bambi versus Godzilla. The fact that they could be a thousand, a million years more advanced than us. However, if on the other hand, one day they do attack, 
We have to be prepared for the fact that they're going to overwhelm us in the opening shots of a war. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. A lot of people are concerned about it. Uh, we've done a lot of research on Comet Ellen, and, and what we found is that there's a lot of missing data on this comet. NASA claims that it's a harmless little fuzzball of ice, won't come any closer than 22 million miles to Earth. Uh, others are saying that uh, they're getting uh, pictures of it, that it doesn't look like a comet, it doesn't act like a comet, it's coming in from an area that comets don't normally originate from. We have sort of a maelstrom in our galaxy where comets originate, and this one's not coming from that neighborhood. So the, there are a lot of things about this comet that don't make sense. Uh, couple that with the arrival of a very large asteroid. Uh, along around the same time coming in from a different angle and the launch of the new emergency alert system on the same day of the arrival of that asteroid and you have some very strange coincidences that it seems the officials are not being upfront about i occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world Hey guys, look, the aliens are coming. Look, my dude, we're live on 174. Let us see we out here. Look, me and the homie shit is real. What the hell? The alien invasion? I have no idea what is that. No, that today is the day before the hurricane is supposed to come. But we do have to plan for the day that maybe a few of them could be hostile. That shit crazy, That shit bananas. You never seen nothing like this in my life. Well, a strange sighting off the coast of Flagler County. Calls from witnesses flooded into the police station after people reported seeing this ball of light. A giant flame like the one in this picture has flagged buzzing. The problem is no one can identify it. Some witnesses think it was a plane, but according to the FAA, there were none on radar at the time. Others watched from this deck at Finn's restaurant when the object struck the ocean. It was quite a sight over the skies of Beijing on Thursday. A mysterious bubble cloud of sorts caught the attention of many in the city. A mysteriously huge bubble cloud over the skies of Beijing and surrounding areas Thursday. When the observation team set their instruments at the bubble, it gradually became bigger and thinner. The entire occurrence lasted for less than 15 minutes. Observers took pictures of the whole process and posted them online. In less than one day, more than 100 comments were posted about the unusual phenomenon. Many of those who commented said they had seen a similar bubble cloud in the provinces of Shenyang, Shanxi, and Zhejiang. That is weird looking. I've never seen that before. Have any of you guys ever seen a shadow behind a cloud? That's what it looks like. It looks like it's a shadow. There's like three layers of it, basically. That is freaky looking. That is weird. A suspected meteorite has fallen across the ancient Peruvian city of Cusco. Residents of the capital of the Inca Empire were surprised to see the object shooting across the horizon.